so we're back, and uh, we've got our super cool team of Battle Brothers here. Um, we actually got a level up in the last fight, apparently, that I missed. So we'll give him melee attack. We'll give him melee defense. And, uh, holy shit! Literally maxed rolls on, on everything. It's a gifted level, except I didn't get gifted. That's insane. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, we'll give him, uh, Fatigue, I think, because he doesn't have stars there. Yeah. Whereas he's, he's gonna have more HP later. I'm sort of tempted to just take, like, more, more and more HP, but, uh, I think melee defense is probably a good thing to have. Mm-hmm. Especially since he's probably going to be a two-hander, so we need him to dodge a certain number of attacks, right? We were talking about just going ahead and giving him nine lives, but I, I think I'm going to give him Steel Brow instead. Um, because then he's not just getting owned by ranged, right? really hard to say which is better but um i mean nine lives definitely keeps you alive but uh let's let's give him steel brow which i think will keep him out of situations where i'm going to need nine lives perhaps we may we may even make him a polar master but i i doubt it i'm not real big on polar mastery to be honest Alrighty, so we have this um simple little mission to do And so we're going to do it. Steel Brow is something you take in 80% of cases. It's really good. Really, really good. We're rushing these guys because they have ranged. Although having... Steel Brow out in the front, or uh, having a having Stormworm out in the front is perhaps not the best thing. <laughs> May have made a mistake here. Okay, let's see. Turn done. Axe in ten turns. Turn done. I'm gonna go here, and then what we'll do is we'll step forward and strike these guys. We should be able to just kind of berserk into these dudes, you know? Okay, I don't really want Elka Soup in the middle of this whole mess, so... Just put him up top. Same for all these dudes that don't have Nimble yet. Blokes, however, can go straight into the battle. Okay, Mazanaka is guarding this flank. We'll put Roche shenanigans in to help, but sort of away. Okay, Son of Slug City, let's put him here, and he'll sort of shoot through these dudes next turn. Okay, here we go. Well, that was super sick. That was what you might call metal. Um, we killed a ton of caravans, Zeldist. We have kind of a murder highway on the east east and southeast and northeast side of the map. So we, we killed just a ton of caravans, and we were doing really well until we got ambushed in the forest by soldiers. We lost like half the team, but the three starting barbarians are still alive. Sadly, the monk is not. But, uh, yeah, we do have our barbarians. And we did do a good bit of dagger farming on caravans. I learned a few interesting things about Expert. Which is that, um... You know, you get arming swords really quickly in, from caravan guards. And they very quickly start getting Lamellar leather armor. Speaking of which... Um, we're already winning this fight, so I'm gonna stab this guy to death for his Lamellar. Um, but Lamellar is essentially, like, perfect, right? For 
straight up the best armor you can get for most of the game, I assume. Maybe even for the entire game, for uh, Nimble. So, you can very quickly get a Nimble team off the ground by attacking caravans, and so, in my future runs, I'm probably going to try to do that. Like, piss off one, maybe two Noble Houses. They call blokes the head chopper. Oh, whoops. We should not have put him next to this Brigand Raider. Uh, I should put Alf next to him instead so we don't get screwed. Okay. I don't want to fire on him. I don't want to mess up his, um... His Lamellar. Uh, Alf, Alf won't get clapped. He's got, he's got Nimble. He's one of my Nimble bros, so he straight up cannot die, and that's the coolest thing. If you have Nimble Colossus and Steel Brow, you you are guaranteed not to die to a single hit from something like that. They'll be buffing raiding and wilderness farming in the next update. See, that's great. I love the fact that the game will support more more play styles. That's super fun for me. And I'll definitely be... I'm going to pick this game up. I'm going to pick the DLC up first day. Um, and, I'll, and I'll stream immediately. So, and we'll, we'll just immediately start um, one, of the new, one of the new starts, you know. Hopefully that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, two weeks from now, I think. Um, I have been told that I should check out Stone Shard, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I mean, yeah, I have an interest in all, all roguelikes. Although the next, um, the next roguelike I play on stream that I haven't streamed before is probably going to be, um, it's probably going to be Castle of the Winds because I've been promising that for a good long while. Oh, whoops, this guy's still alive. I am freaking blind. Uh, that's a problem. The Castle of the Winds. That, that's right. The best game of all time. It's a wonderful game, man. Genuinely good. Yeah, I don't know anything about Stone Shard. Feel free to talk about it and I'll give my my thoughts, I guess. There's a way to go to actually be fun for me. You can't ever disengage from combat, with a few exceptions, so you're committed to fights if they start to go badly. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's kind of true in Battle Brothers, though. Although there's plenty of ways to, to get around it, so maybe not. Castle of the Winds was way too short, I agree. Especially if you're like a little kid and you don't realize uh, that the first <laughs> that the first one is uh, is like freeware, you know. Oh, you didn't play the second one? Yeah, I mean, it's honestly, I don't even I don't see the second one as a sequel. I see the first one as a tutorial, um, because the, fir the first one, it really was just, it was freeware, so it was meant to be kind of like a demo, I think. Um, so I, I don't see them as separate games, personally. That's true, the second one's kind of short, too. God, the game was so fun, I really ought to check it out. Bro, what is with these awesome rolls? Look at this. 3-3, three, three. we got memed on melee defense, I guess, but... Um, this is awesome. Boom, boom. Okay, I don't think Doesn't He's gonna need Gifted. 
Let's just give him that Colossus. Okay, melee attack. Probably fatigue. Probably HP over melee defense. This is plus three, that's plus two. With a star, we can reasonably expect to only take plus threes here. I could take resolve, I guess. Um, but we have over 45 already, which puts him in a pretty good spot. Um, I think he wants HP. And we'll give him Colossus too. Building everybody basically the same way. Which is um, apparently something that works when you're, when you're building a defensive team, you know? But yeah, um, is Stone Shard free? Or do you have to actually pay for it? Phase door non-stop until you warp into another part of the dungeon. <laughs> oh shit, I remember that. I just remember um, getting owned by, by fire giants, if I remember correctly. <laughs> or was it, was it just the final boss that was a fire giant? I think there were other fire giants too. Okay. We get slightly paid for that. Um, escort a caravan to Newfern. I need time to think about this, and by that I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna hire more bros. I think I'm gonna start saving money. No nets for sale. Let's just get rid of all the cruft here. Worn mail shirt. We could actually get some use out of that, I think. Anybody who doesn't have... Uh, doesn't have nimble will want that. Such as Elka Soup. Yeah, Zeldest, I do like that there's there's just a lot of stuff that you can do in this game. We're playing a very sort of simple and, and defensive style right now, but um, it's still nice. I'm going to sell this hide and bone armor. It's the same as Lamellar leather, but looks dumb. Okay, um... Keeping these regular nasal helmets... Um, Sell the padded ones. These are good for nimble bros. 46 slots still used up, unfortunately. Only 1,500 coins. We're not, we're not exactly rich. We're rich in spirit, though. We have, we have lots of bros on our side. Uh, and our renown is probably flying upwards. Yeah, 836. Not bad. Um, we could take the caravan to Newfern, but if we're attacked by, for example, those mercenaries, it'd be a very serious issue. Do we all have nets? Um, this guy doesn't have a net, but... Eh. Oh, we got a pike. Um... This has been almost all towns and questing. We haven't really had a chance to explore because um, well, we've been kind of living on the razor's edge with regards to money and food for a while. And you can't—you need to have like a wiggle room of, in my opinion, like 10, 10 days, maybe even 20 if you want to go into the wilderness. Should we use this pike, I wonder? Uh, I think I might give it to Son of Doesn't He? Maybe somebody who has nine lives? Hmm. Yeah, exactly, Zealist. We have two factions mad at us, actually. Um, I 
I don't want to let this pike go to waste. But I also really don't want this guy to be running around without... Oh my god, I guess I have Severe running around without Colossus or uh, Steelbrow and no shield. It's probably okay though. Yeah, this will this is fine. We have plenty of hardcore tanks. Pikes are just so good. Stone Shard is a dungeon crawler with a heavy emphasis on survival mechanics. Interesting. Yeah, Severe would definitely like nine lives, I, I agree. Um, Alright, so we could go up here and try to hunt for that mercenary group, but I I think I think instead we're just gonna sail to Sandorf. It's getting expensive to take boats because we have so many guys. Oh, there's no quests here. Cucked. We can get a better price on this. Okay, we're going to see stop. Oh, I should have bought the fish. We, we have tons of food, though. Uh, can't make, can't, ah, uh, shit, I can't, I can't sell the shards here, I just remembered. Oh, bro, this, this adventurous noble's still available. Three skull mission. It's a three skull caravan mission. Ah, oh, so cucked. I cannot take caravan missions. Yeah, I saw shards at the fort, I agree. Super serious question? Let's hear it, Verser. Uh, one more day of crowns. We're gonna need to sell something. We have a goodly number of axes, possibly too many, even if we run into a shrot. Do you restart Castle of the Winds until a large pack spawns in the shop? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Maybe. Sell one of my flails. Then we last for two days. That'll be good enough to track down the thugs. You gain a throwing net. Son of Love Longnose sitting with his hands full of rope. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I had enough nets already, but I'll always take more nets. Thanks for making a net, rat catcher man. He is a rat catcher, isn't he? Yeah. Mini Brigand Raiders. Uh, let's fight them on the plains. We're gonna crush these dudes. Oh boy. That that is a that is a tier three two handed mace, isn't it? Or hammer, no mace. Um Does that do more damage than a longsword? I bet it does. It's not tier 3, it's tier 2, I see. Still, that's a pretty good weapon. Um, tier 3. It's better against armor. Oh, I, I bet. I don't particularly care about these guys' armor. Snap the mace, pikeman. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. If I put this guy here, we can get a nice swing against both of these dudes. It goes counterclockwise, so one, two, three. If we're lucky, one of their dumb asses will rock, walk right here, although I, I doubt it. Yeah, that's definitely not going to do that. Okay. Um should be able to attack from here. On the other hand, I think we just whip out whip out the net. Um, we can't actually use the net though. Okay, Mazanaka goes here. 
swings and a miss. Um, okay, Zeldest. Thanks for stopping by, man. Okay, Elk Soup. One of our loyal, low-level gentlemen will also get his net out, as well as Blight. Um, this is too high, I think. For him to be able to attack me so i think we're safe to put this guy here even though it looks like i'm next to it pretty sure okay i think i might put row shenanigans here yeah okay uh and again this is too high for this guy to step and attack so go here with elf I can shield wall to protect against these two guys. Now, I would have liked it if Son of Slug City was up on top to make use of high ground with these javelins, but he's not. Um, so instead, maybe we just, like, put him here to set it up, yeah. Oh! They're going that way, okay. Well, that makes things interesting, because while I could swing and hit these two guys, I could instead split and hit these two. He doesn't have a shield. These guys do. Uh, this guy only has Lamellar armor on as well. 55% 50, chance to hit. Hmm. It's definitely bigger chances to hit both of these guys. So, well... Actually, more chance to hit this one, um, because his morale's bad and these guys are surrounding, but I bet you... It's too bad I can't check the chance to hit the, um, the pikeman. Chance is better than 55% against the rear guy? Yeah, for sure. Um, but 60, is it better than 68? Maybe. Probably not, actually. Actually, it might be. The lack of a shield is pretty big. Alright, we cut his leg muscles. Yeah, but his morale is good, you know. Okay, we'll wait with the son of doesn't he? He tried to shove me off the... Mm. So I might just net one of these guys just for a faster kill. Wait a minute, what? I can't throw the net here? Fascinating. One, two, it looks like two tiles, but... I guess that... Going down counts as a whole tile for the purposes of nets. So it's like one, two, and then three, four. Curious. chance to hit. He is reposting. Uh, we could shove him to... You know what? Let's wait and we'll let Rogue Shenanigans do the shoving. Actually, no. He's he's lower, so... Or we could just fail twice. That's cool. I call that a cool story, bro. Okay, this is getting very messy. bad for rogue shenanigans potentially. Oh, 66% chance to hit this guy. Got that graze neck, hell yeah. Hmm. 
Okay. Do we attack this guy or this guy? Higher chance to hit the raider, although he's very unlikely to do anything important since he has this long ass way to walk. Um, let's get him off the field though. A little bit wasteful on my nets today, but I'm concerned about these pikemen, so I want to clean this up quickly so I can get help. He just can't hit a goddamn thing. They're going for him. Um, I would like to throw this guy here, but then let's see if I do this and then I go there. Two, three. Still can't do it. Let's net him to save Enish some trouble. So the goal is to net the pikemen, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen, so I think we have to net their bros instead. Just kind of save Enish some trouble. His melee was his famed two-headed mace. It's 150 after going through Lamellar? Good god. Kill. Uh, yeah, so Enish could actually suffer some real issues here. He just got hit with the pike for like 30 damage. Certainly less than he would have taken, but still. Done, so let's just throw Delight down here. King of the North could kill Necrosavant camps by himself. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, he's got bleeding and a cut neck vein. He is very tanky. A normal human being could not take this many pikes to the face, I have to say. That doesn't mean I'm not nervous, though. After the first pike, that's true. Unless he had big ass armor on. Uh, Enish, Enish can run through here, but we would need to get this raider out of the way. I guess I probably should have shoved him. But he's fleeing now, so actually Enish can just sort of walk away now. Although I might just dab on them and, uh, and just have him keep fighting. <laughs> the raider doesn't need a shove now, he's, he's fleeing. Ah uh, no, we'll have him walk away. For safety. Puff man. <laughs> I 
wonder how many of these pikes we'll get. At least one. Tell me how much damage my girls have done. Oof. That's so much an ordinary man takes. And that's after armor, too. Uh, I think the bleeding is actually how much damage they've taken. Uh, so Enish took 161 damage total. <laughs> I don't know if he... Uh, Oh, wait, no, it says he did 76, I see. Blokes did 258. Stormworm MVP. Oh, yeah. Jesus, bill hooks are outrageous. Well, uh, Enish, to be fair to Enish, he missed a lot. Okay, we got basic male shirt. Got some more shields. Yeah, the bill hooks are just stupid good. I think they're actually good against armor, too. 150% effective against armor. Oh, it's so silly. Bleeding doesn't count as real damage. Ah, uh, yeah. 50 to 75 on this two-handed mace. That's actually less than a longsword. Okay, we're not taking melee skill. Um, seems like a pretty obvious hit points, fatigue, melee defense. Yeah, it's pretty good. 50% of damage ignores armors. That's that's pretty pretty outrageous, actually. <laughs> Versus 25%. Alright, what does Alf want? Um, shockingly, he has not been huff-huffing that much, so I don't know if I need to give him recover yet. I think we give him Berserk. Or, or we could go ahead and give him Flail Mastery. Although we don't have any unique flails, we don't even have any tier 3 flails, so it could be a mistake. Um, tempted to give them Mace Mastery. Those are tier 3 flails. Um, I'm thinking of, I guess there's a tier 4 flail, isn't there? Nunchucks are tier 1. I, I see what you mean. You're right, you're right, you're right. Tier 4 is the three-headed flail. Hmm. Well, I would kind of like it if we could... If we could lash... Um, if we could lash through shields. You know. Although I have a suspicion that Berserk is still going to be better on him. Um... Not true. Each of those three hits have separate rolls. What do you mean? Does that mean it's not a, it's not as good for some reason? Or lots of times you hit with one to two. What well, does it do the same damage or or more than a regular flail? Per hit is so low. Yeah, I mean Elf has okay melee ac accuracy. Sixty-seven is really not bad. Um, Historically, we, we haven't we haven't really needed rotation because of so many people wearing shields. We just shove stuff out of the way. Um, of course, certain enemies that doesn't work against. Sixty-seven is pretty bad for level nine. That's true. He's even got gifted. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Um, We could give him rotate. It would be nice to have one rotate, bro. But I bet more often than not, it won't be terribly usable just due to positioning. Um, hmm. Adrenaline rotate, good mix. Yeah, that'd be that'd be kind of cool. We could just go ahead and give him adrenaline, you know. 
21 to 66. Is that total or per hit? Because if it's per hit, that's insane. Also, I wonder if um, I wonder if fast adaptation works with the flail. Total. That's interesting. Well, I meant like if it counts as separate attacks for the purposes of fast adaptation. Each each head. Yeah, I haven't I haven't used it yet either. Um Man, this is a tough choice with Elf. Adrenaline with 95 stamina. Yeah, that's the thing. Um Every single one of these barbarian bros. Oh wait, this isn't a barbarian. This is just the non-barbarian survivor of the forest ambush. I was going to say every single barbarian should get adrenaline, but uh He's not one of them, although I, I think he could probably live with it. Um, I think I am going to give him rotate. We're going to maybe use him to get in, and get, get in, and get out. Yeah, adrenaline with low attacks is not not quite as quite as good. Although we we might be able to if we can get like three, I guess it's only two, like two solid level ups. We could get him to seventy five. He's always going to have a relatively low attack, though. You want to have bros at, like, 90 attack by the end. God, I wish... I wish we didn't have so many uh, caravan missions being offered. Cascade for... Ignore, uh, 15 ignores the defense bonus of shields... We'll make three separate strikes for one third of the weapons eat. Ah, interesting. So I guess fast adaptation does apply to each of those attacks. Hmm. So it's probably good to use when you when you need to do a little bit of damage, you know. Oh, it's only fifteen fatigue use. How many AP? Four? Oh yeah, four AP, fifteen fatigue. Interesting. Does so anybody need a worn mail shirt? Yes, basic mail shirt here. Okay. It's probably worth it to buy the Amber Shards for 301. I bet we can make a slight profit in the Fort Town. That's pretty expensive, though. So maybe not. Uh, I'm going to sell a little bit of my Lamellar. Everybody has a Kite Shield, right? I'd like to keep at least one extra, but we'll, we'll sell a couple of these. Good for locking down fleeing enemies since they need to dodge three hits to move away. Uh, that's I don't think that's how that works. They um, you just get like a basic attack unless unless that is the basic attack. Actually, yeah, I guess that is the basic attack. Hmm. I wonder if it applies um, fatigue to the enemy three times. Because if so, you could you could just like utterly obliterate the enemy's fatigue. You know. Okay, let's um, let's think about what it is that we're gonna do with these pikes. Should we give our bros pikes, like instead of instead of shields and boar spears? I like how tanky my dudes are, but um. We basically already have our big tanks, right? Let's see, this is doing 28 to 33. 
60 to 80. Well, we, we don't exactly get to have the ideal here, unfortunately. But yeah, that would be that would be good, Verser. 25% ignores armor, 95% effective against armor, 30% ignores armor. 60 is about where I'll stop using a, a regular spear and use something with only 10% extra chance to hit. We're more or less there. 59, 57. I would feel silly not to use these pikes. They're really very good. Yeah, Versailles is very... Oh, you mean Stormworm? Stormworm's the one with the smoke smile today. We don't we don't have a Versailles on our team, I don't think. But we will, I assure you. We could make him the monk that's just sitting here doing nothing, but... Uh, I don't think we're ever going to use him, so... Probably not. Let's equip these nets. Shield wall repost. Does that work well against um, troops? Well, I would like to start fighting companies for sure. The way I beat a supply caravan at one point with this team was I basically just like made the footmen tired and then defeated them after that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna sell these boar spears. Sell all these daggers. I need inventory space. I'm gonna keep the kite shields just in case. Probably keep the male coifs for ranged guys. We can we can have the monk wear some stuff. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we do not have any taxidermists. But, uh, one day when the noble houses forgive us. Oh, you mean that they can turn the stuff into? Uh, yeah, that, that does exist, but I, I don't know. I don't know of too many of them. They will never forgive us. They will if there's a noble war. Okay, um, no more, no more quests available. I guess we'll go to... We'll take the long way around and we'll go to the Fort City. Okay. Looking for... Caravans. Spare equipment is important shit. Yeah, I've sold probably more than I should have. I might hire dudes just to hold stuff for me, to be honest. But we're already sucking down a solid 246 crowns per day, which is... Um, it's a lot. Oh, hello. Wonder if they eventually start putting footmen on regular caravan carts. Oh, the billhook is definitely my, my best item. Maybe the longsword. Noble War First would, would definitely unscuff this game, so to speak. Access the world, yeah. Well, I mean, enough time has passed that if I hadn't played full-on Raider, um, we would be forgiven by everybody by now if I simply hadn't done that. Military Cleaver. Oh, that's true, the Military Cleaver. I'd like another one of those, for sure. Um. The game cucked you? It didn't force you to do that, did it? You don't have to quit after the first crisis. It just offers you that, doesn't it? It's not necessary to play. <laughs> well, just just tell it no. 
You can do more crises and stuff. Just be like, no, I'm not going to do that. Huff, huff. That's true, that does count as a win. All you gotta do is beat one crisis to be considered two of two of one, although there there is winning harder, kinda like doing fifteen runes in DCSS. Of course, if you die afterwards, does it really count? You gotta you gotta retire. It's hard, it's true. Man, Bill Hook is outrageous. Who is this guy, Bill Hook? Well, we officially beat the hell out of um, caravans, you know. Honestly, like at some point, Really, really easy fights. They should just let you automatically win them, I think. Oh, three dies. See, this is what we like to see in caravan raids. Dies especially are worth great money. Severe levels up. Top tier. Four melee skill, three melee defense. Um... We were planning on turning him into a into a sergeant, so we're going to give him the resolve, even though we would really like HP and fatigue. I don't really have much of a choice. He's going to make a good sergeant, I think. The tools drain. Well, I was thinking you just roll a nimble bro in, ass, ass naked, and then there is no tools drain. And just have him berserker his way in there and kill everybody on his own, you know? Or a team of those dudes, you know? I may start doing that, actually. Obviously, that doesn't work at the very beginning. But, um... Later on, you know? Um... Okay, Severe... Actually, probably wants nine lives at this point. <laughs> um... Yeah, take that immediately. So if he gets cucked by a crossbow bolt. Your inventory space by 90, 35%. Oh, yeah. What, by taking off all your stuff? Man, I want to pay for training, but... What are those events? Um, mustering troops. We can sell arms and armor here. Rebuilding effort. So I bet you we can... Oh shit! Oh shit! The die is worth 600 now because of the rebuilding effort. Oh shit! I could go back and buy that amber and make like 90 gold off each uh, each stack. I should have I should have bought the 300, 300 crown to amber, but the problem is once I get back the rebuilding effort might be over. Wolf Pelt's 100. Uh, I might sell these arming swords. Yeah, we'll get more later. I kind of want to sell this 200 mace, but I'm, I'm kind of keeping it because certain things with armor, it'll be really nice to have that against. Oh, 
I'm I gotta I gotta save the pelts, man. There's only so many. I don't hunt that many wolves, yeah. I'm tempted to actually with this much money we could strike out into the wilderness right now and look for legendary locations. Do you guys think I could beat a Barbarian Chosen one-on-one -on -one with any of my dudes? Do you think blokes could do it? I think it'd be close. Because there's a there's an event up north that I want to do so I can get the unique cleaver. But it's a Barbarian Chosen and he also regenerates every single turn. Severe net abuse, yeah, that would that would be certainly helpful. We would certainly give him two nets. Um, maybe like try to find some drugs for him, like uh, like the mushrooms that increase attack power or whatever. Yeah, they will a two-handed cleaver. Yes. Oh, he'll have thirty percent to hit me. Yeah. Interesting. Are you sure about that? You mean with my heater shield? Well, the problem is there's there's no getting out of that fight, I don't think, <laughs> if it starts to go poorly. And I do have to wonder how good Nimble is versus that guy. Blokes would be the man to do it. Let's wait until he's level 11 to try that crap. Let's... Let's spend a little bit on leveling our weak guys. Yeah, the Pavis Prince is still still alive. Okay, we still have five days on money. Dumped a ton of cash into training. Um, five days should be enough to do more caravans. Oh, yeah, it only lets you choose between three bros. That's true. But, I mean, it, it's your three highest level bros, so presumably it's gonna give me blokes. It's gotta, it's gotta be your highest level bros. He's, he's, he's doing all right. Um, let's see, where is he? El Kasup, the Pavis Prince. He's level four now. He's, he's not bad. He's got 30 armor in his uh, kite shield. Well, actually, Alf is the same level as them blokes. Okay, there's a supply caravan. Some footmen... Few arbalesters. Well, remember Kasup, that's with the shield, but yeah. Oh, baby. Take out this regular caravan first. Rare supply caravan at day 60 plus. Why do you say that? I've seen supply caravans before. Are you saying they they stop showing up late in the game? Is that... Oh, because it has no bill hooks. Yeah, I see. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.